Hey guys. Percy, keep bothering me. Hey guys, how are you? Ooh, I see my little hair out of place. <laughs> I ate so much last night. That food was so delicious. I, I kid you not. I'm just going to do a dinner salad tonight and keep it light. So what I've got, I've got some iceberg lettuce that I'm going to tear up with my hands. Let me wipe my hands because I had them in my head. Okay, let's take it and tear it. Everybody know how to tear lettuce. It's going to be a good salad, though. I got some. Have you guys heard of the, from the deli, the ham off the bone? That's some good ham. <laughs> now, this here was a perfectly healthy salad. I said it's a dinner salad. Yes, I got some ham off in there. Tell your lettuce is, you know, as big as you like to fit it in your mouth. Okay. All right. I actually, guys, believe this or not, I don't know how to unblock, but my sister Raynette does. And I had such a hectic day today, I didn't get a chance to get over there. And I have a appointment on Friday where well, I've got to have my left shoulder and have a lot of problems with it and my left hip injected. So I'm trying to get a lot done. Like I got to, uh, enough done today and I'm going to get some things done tomorrow. You know, I'm trying to get to Raynette's because I'm not going to be able to do anything once I get injected on Friday and most of Saturday. So I'm trying to get stuff done. It's not that I'm ignoring getting you guys on block. I want to get that done. I want you guys to stay with me. But I've had a subscriber send me a message telling me if I didn't unblock her, she was going to unsubscribe and you know, all this and it, it seemed to me this person is a very messy person. And I told her, please don't threaten me, push my back to the wall. And you know, if she felt that she wanted to unsubscribe, please do. Uh, Cause I'm not gonna be threatened. Simple as that. I hate to see her go, but uh, I have other things to do than YouTube. You know, I, I, I own a small business, then you lose product seasonings and sauces. I gotta get, try to get those in other stores and, you know, get that on the map. Not to explain myself, I never explain myself. But I gotta bring that to you guys tense too. <laughs> but, um, uh, I don't know what to, I wish she wouldn't, you know, unsubscribe, but before I have people threatening me and telling me crazy stuff, and this the same one was sending me all, texting me everything Adrian was saying in her videos, if I wanted to know that, I would watch them, but it's negativity, and I don't deal with that, so... Please stick with me. I'll get it done. Uh, I want everyone unblocked as well. Because I know you're some good people. So with that said, let's make our dinner salad. We got our lettuce all torn up. Now, I have some carrots and some apples. I love apples. I have a red delicious apple, part of one. And some carrots that I've chopped up and everything. We're going to add that to our bowl. Don't you be able to see. Now you can see a little better. Let's put that in there. I always make a pretty good size salad. And there we are. That's in there. I have, I like those baby cucumbers, the mini ones. 
I got some of those in there. They're quite cute. Look how I chopped them up. My brother Macy taught me that trick. You just take a, a vegetable peeler and go down, you know, the outside of the cucumber. Don't take all the skin off, just some of it. It's quite decorative. And we're going to add those in there. And everything. Okay. And, of course, we're going to add tomatoes. Excuse me for reaching. I got a real good surprise for you guys in the morning. I'm not telling. You're going to see in the morning. I've got three of these heirloom tomatoes. I'm going to wipe them off. Okay. Really well. And we're going to cut those in chunks. Let you see. They're so pretty and they're so good. These are some of the best tomatoes I've ever eaten. The lady downstairs, my neighbor grew. She had uh, one big plant of the heirloom and three other plants of regular tomatoes and a, a plant of uh, bell pepper and I've got some bell pepper we're going to do some uh, Italian sausage with peppers and onion with the bell peppers okay so I'm going to take my knife and give me that old jack oh, and I'm going to cut these in the Wedges, wedges. Hammy just came home. He was outside with his friend, the man downstairs. And he went past curfew tonight. Hammy, see how I cut him in wedges. You want to say hi to the people today? Hold on, guys. Let's see if he you want to say hello? Say hello, people. Well, at least he said hi. You say hi, people? No, not. I think that was it. He heading out the door. <laughs> now, that's how we're going to put in our tomatoes. Cut them into wedges and put them in there. I always make a big salad. I eat it all, though. Not in one sitting, but I'll have some tonight and some for lunch tomorrow. I'm telling y'all, this is all I need to eat. Because I'm telling you, I got up last night and had another plate. I never do that. But it was so good. I'm, I'm addicted to spaghetti squash. I really am. That's how good it came out. Okay. okay. It's so colorful. And last but not least, I want to let you guys see me do the preparation. It's not going to take long. Why don't you guys uh, let me know what you're eating? I'd like to know. Okay. And I got some delicious creamy Gouda cheese. It's going to go in here. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to put them back. And that'll be this. It's delicious. It really is so creamy. Okay. We'll just go sprinkle him on. See what I'm doing here. I'm done chopping. Just sprinkle that around. I wish some of you guys come join. Is it? Does anybody watch this here in Milwaukee? I know 
If it is, let me know. I get lonely. I mean, I don't, you know, have a lot of friends. I'm a very uh, private person. But I do get lonely. And I like to have someone come and we can eat. Have a little glass of port wine or whatever. You know, I really, I'm not a, a drinker at all. But I'm going to start trying the non-alcoholic wine. I do love wine, white wine or rosé. Um, I'm going to try non-alcoholic. What you think? Is it'll work out. Here's our ham off the bone. I cut it into julienne strips. Get that around there. It's going to be a delicious salad. And I've got some Catalina Island dressing I want to put on there. I eat so much ranch with the tomatoes. I'm going to do some Catalina Island tonight. I really want a lot of ham on there. I'll put it so you can really see. There we go. And put the rest up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, guys, I was so busy today. I went to see my nephew, Carl. That's my autistic nephew in the group home. I'm going to check him out. And then, let me show you guys a tip about boiling eggs. You're going to love this. What you do, start your eggs in hot water. It doesn't have to be boiling, but make it as hot as you can. And if it's boiling, that's even better. That's how you start your eggs. When you they're done, pour the water off and immediately put them in cold water. And you won't have a problem peeling them. They'll come off just like this. Very, very easy. She'll come off. Because the membrane, that boiling hot that hot water. I don't know what it does to the membrane. Wait, this one don't want to act right. Now that I'm showing you, it just comes right off. Here we go. There it is. See how easily it comes off? When you do it that way, it comes right off. See? And that's all to it. It'll come right off. It won't stick on there. I don't know if the, the hot water, when you put it in that hot water, it immediately cooks the membrane or whatever that sticks to the shell. But when you do it that way, they peel so easy, as you can see. So try that. And it works every time. Okay. Let's get rid of that. See, I like to clean as I go. I have a little garbage bag right behind me or on side of me, somewhere close. So, okay, a little eggshell on my hand. And I use this little gadget. Now, what this is. I bought it at the dollar store about 25 years ago. It's a tomato uh, slicer. I have never sliced a tomato with it. I slice my boy eggs. <laughs> oh, I just take it. Make sure there's no shell on it. And go like this. Hey, Mitch. See? Automatic sliced egg. You can take it in 
decorate your salad or you know I'll let you see what I'm doing here I don't care as long as it gets on that uh, make sure no shell on my egg I hate that here we go again push it on through there you don't um, just put a salad together you orchestrate a salad like you orchestrate a sandwich you know they just throw that together. You go. And there we are. Salad made. Oh, no, it's not. I'm not done. I want to garnish it. Of course, I love chives. Get that little onion flavor. And I grew myself. I love that part. And just cut them over there. That's all. You know, cut them as short as long as you like. There we go. Hamish loves my herbs. He keeps his nose in them. I brought them in already, though, but my base, I'm going to have to pick. This. Some of the leaves are turning yellow. I'm going to have to pick them and put them in my dehydrator, dry them out, put them in a bottle. That's what they do. They probably charge us a high price for. Why not do it yourself? My cousin Kathy has so many, a huge garden, flower garden and herb garden, vegetables. She has a beautiful garden. I want to go see them again before it gets too cold. I really enjoyed myself with them. You, know, you forget how you love, how much you love someone until you see them. And it came right back as if we were children again. My daughter is like an angel. I love her so much. That was my first time getting to meet Andrea. Kind of a good kid. She's an artist and a, and a pretty good one. Hamish. Hamish, be good boy. You don't know those people. I know one of know them, my date crooks. How you thought it does? Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to show you some of Andrea's work. Her name is Andrea Scratling. You can find her on Facebook. And look at some of her art. She's very good. Hold on, watch it. Well, let me let you see the salad first, because we're done. And I want you guys to really see how pretty it is. Okay. Pretty good, huh? Look, let me let you show you some of my hunter's work. It's beautiful. Here's one of her paintings. Isn't that beautiful? When I saw it, I had to have it. She's very good. Now, this is just a small one. She has big, beautiful ones as well. Look her up on Facebook. Check out her art. She's very good. Okay. I would drop. I'm so clumsy. I am so close. That is so pretty. I, I really love that. Alrighty. Guys, so let's try to sell it. I'm going to grab some of this stuff. 
and put it back up. <coughs> okay. We have all this. We gotta try this salad. Salt and pepper. I'll do that individually because salt would bring out all the water in your veggies, and you have a big bowl of water in a few hours. So let's try what we did here. Go all the way down, grab lettuce and everything on top of it. This is dinner. Fill my bowl up. Okay. So now I'm pretty hungry. There we go. Okay. Now I will salt and pepper it. Let's see what I'm doing here. A little salt. I don't need much salt. And some pepper. I love black pepper. I love now that I do spice, I love spice. Okay, get some fresh ground black pepper on there. There we go. Add some dressing. Shake it up, shake it up. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. Please bless it. Amen. Put a little bit of everything in there. Some lettuce. Apple. Tomato. Well, can't get everything. So. Mm. Mm, 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 it's so good. Mm. That's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to find a piece of egg. I know it's in there. There we go. 
Hmm. The laces. Hmm. The tomatoes are so good and they're sweet. Everything's so fresh. Carrot is good and sweet. Crunchy. Can you hear me crunching? <laughs> I love texture. Mm. It's delicious. Put one together. Of course, you can get some toasted bread, garlic bread, Texas toast, whatever you like. But just try it. I'm going to go and enjoy. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, am I going to enjoy this? But I am through for the night. But I do have a good surprise for you in the morning. Before I get busy, we're going to do us a, we're going to join together and have a little baking time. So, I'll see you then. Thank you guys for wa watching. I love you to watch. Please come back. And God bless. Bye-bye.